Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to screen record on the iPad 9. So let's activate the screen recorder by opening up settings, then find control center, then scroll down until you see screen recording, and tap on the plus, and now we have activated screen recording on our iPad 9. However, we need to use it, so what you want to do is swipe down from the top right to activate control center, and now you should see this brand new screen recording toggle. Long press on this toggle until you're brought to the screen recording area. Once we're here, we have one option, which is microphone on or off. If you tap on this, you will turn on the microphone. When the microphone is on, you hear me speaking now, that will be captured in the screen recording. However, the uh, internal system sounds will also be captured. So for example, if you're playing a game, the game sounds will be captured, but at the same time, you speaking will also be captured. If you turn off the microphone, you speaking will not be captured. However, the internal game sounds, just game audio, keyboard typing will be captured. One tip is if you want that to be captured, the uh, game audio or system audio, make sure the mute mode is off and you actually have sound on. If you do not have sound on or mute mode is on, you will not have the uh, game audio captured. I recommend you just double check that everything's fully working by doing a test recording before you actually do the real thing. So what we're going to do is once we have everything set up, we're just going to tap on start recording. Now we have a timer which goes down from free and once it goes down, you will see at the top right there is a red bar. This means the screen recorder has started and every single action I do on my home screen is being registered. Opening up applications, all that good stuff is being recorded, even flipping orientation, all that good stuff. If we want to stop the screen recorder, you see the top right, just tap on the red bar and then just tap on a stop recording. However, sometimes if you do a really long screen recording, the red bar will not be available. If you want to stop the recording then, just swipe down, activate the control center and you should see the red bar right here. If this red bar isn't red and it's just grey, that means that for some reason the screen recorder has corrupted. I'll explain how that can happen later. So what we do is we either tap on that or we long press on this and then tap on the stop recording. Eventually you should see here screen recording, screen recording video saved to photos. If you have disabled notifications manually for screen recording, that will not show up. So let's take a look at the screen recorder I have uh, done and you can see, boom, it has captured everything on my device, switching rotation, all that good stuff. Now let's talk about how the screen recorder can corrupt. Just go to settings, general and about. And in order to screen record, you will need to have more than five gigs of storage. If you have less than five gigs of storage, there is a possibility that the screen recorder uh, will, you know, use up too much storage. And when the screen recorder runs out of storage, you know, your device, then it will just automatically cut off the screen recorder. Next, if you lock your device while screen recording or while the screen recorder is saving the video to your photos app, if you lock it, the screen recording will corrupt and it will not save to the gallery. This has been an issue for quite a long time and it's just something you need to know. Do not lock your device while you're screen recording. Do not lock your device after the screen recorder has done until you know 100% it is saved in the Photos application. So we say the screen recorder all about some tips and tricks. So you saw earlier, I switched to portrait mode. So what if I just want the screen recorder to have portrait mode only, right, this portrait mode area, and I don't want any of this beginning stuff because this beginning stuff is fluff. So what we do is we tap on the edit button right here, and you see we have the crop tool. So let's crop this until we go to portrait mode. So you can see right here, boom. And let's go to the end side. And let's see right before I switch back to landscape mode. So it's about here. So now we only have the portrait mode part of the recording. However, if I save this right now, you will notice there is a very big flaw. So if I just tap on say video, you can see currently the video, you know, you can see it, let, let me play it, is, uh, well, you can see I'm in landscape mode. However, the recording is a portrait. If I go to portrait, the recording goes to landscape. How do we fix this? Let's go back to the edit and let's tap on this button right here. Tap on this and then we just tap on the rotate button and we just rotate it until the portrait mode is upright. Let's tap on done. And there we go, that looks a lot better. So let's play it, and you can see that now the screen recorder is in the proper uh, rotation. If I go to portrait mode, you can see, boom, everything is how it should be. So hopefully this video did help you out. If it did, make sure to smash like, subscribe for brand new. Check out my playlist on the end screens right now for a bunch of tips and tricks on the iPad 9. I can guarantee you will learn something new, so check that one out right now. If you don't see the end screens with the playlist, check it out in the description down below. The playlist is also there. Thanks for watching, see you guys later, bye bye.